and good day everybody and so today we'll have another blitz uh, episode and this one is about hmm guess what well i today have watched like about 150 reels how to motivate myself but i'm still a blob hmm what's the problem Wahab? oh a problem you say but you shouldn't feel a problem because watching motivational videos should get you super motivated to do exactly. anything, anywhere, anyhow, no matter the difficulty. That is but a premise. See, <laughs> that's the issue. Like motivational videos can be good. Yes. But then just like anything else, if it's oversaturated, if it's overdone, it loses its effect. And okay. oh, is the audio good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is good, so... Ah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, it loses its effect. Yeah. Similar to anything else in the world. Now, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but... Well, maybe food, for example, yeah. Much of something good. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It loses um, its effect. There's a good saying that goes, too much of something good can be bad. Yes. And that reminds me of moving back home oh yeah and getting myself back into a consistent gym schedule and this is after playing around with my schedule trying to figure out what time works best everything is now set yes and i have the time so you can imagine coming back home feeling super motivated thinking, yeah. yes i can do this oh i'm gonna crush the gym this year go every single day exactly rest effectively train efficiently do everything yeah. perfectly and that went on for one month, one month and a half. Exactly. And then I remember it all started in one week where halfway through, I, I felt tired. I was like, ah, I don't feel motivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought to myself, just take the day off. It's, it's probably earned rest. You, you need it. Take it. It's fine. Yes. One day won't hurt. Yeah. And then the week after that turned into two days. And then the week after that turned into ah, three yeah. days. That's right. And then the week after that, I didn't go at all. And then what happens was I realized, oh, I took one week off. I should get back into it. Went back one week and it felt terrible. Like I felt yeah. low energy, low drive. It was harder to do it because I didn't feel that motivation. But when I had that motivation... I was fired up. I was ready to go. Okay, I see. And that's what they say, like, about this fire from, motiva from motivation does burn out. Yes. So I was experiencing the, what you call not burnout, but the extinguishing of the flame of motivation. Mm-hmm, okay, yeah. Now that is gone. But the problem is so many people see that and think, oh, no, since that flame is gone and I'm not motivated... I should not do it anyways. Yes. And that happened with me. But that week I went back, I said, no, I have to do it. I have to stick with it. Yes, it sucks. But I will thank myself later. Yes. And I had that internal dialogue going through the entire way. Exactly. And I didn't think to myself, oh, you have to go to the gym. You're going to have to do like rigorous squats today or like heavy deadlifts it was the only thing i thought to myself was just show up just okay walk there yeah i am and then you show up you keep going you keep going and you keep going and the thing is motivation goes away as soon as things get harder yes it does not stick around it does not stay it will pack its bags and leave it does not care yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I agree with that. So, yeah, motivation is very, um, very ethereal, I would say. Yeah, so it's present there. So maybe it kind of like serves as a, some sort of as some sort of spark that helps your uh, action. So, but uh, the majority of uh, kind of like what you want to do about motivation is uh, perform the action and achieve some sort of goal. For instance, right? So that's going to be kind of the, I don't know, 95% of success, right? So the motivation is only kind of like a very small part of that. So yeah, you need to kind of like use it as a spark, uh, get yourself going, but ultimately 
So all you need to do is after the motivation, it's only going to be the uh, taking of the action uh, that you'll have to perform and um, get going, actually. So then I heard somewhere there was a saying that actually action brings about motivation, right? So if you take action after kind of the initial motivation or some sort of idea, thought that pushes you uh, to do something, then you'll be able to kind of uh, sustain the further motivation via just uh, taking uh, action. And then I also absolutely can relate to the point that uh, when uh, for some reason, so yeah, I had to, let's say, put the gym activities into abeyance, it was, uh, yeah, harder and harder to come back to them because I didn't have this uh, action going, right? And then I wasn't going to the gym because of this. Even if, yeah, I could uh, use some kind of like motivational videos, so, but there was no action of going to the gym and I just was simply not doing that uh, despite all the 150 reels uh, which I could have watched uh, during the day to motivate myself. So yeah, that was definitely not sustainable, not useful to just watch the reels and get something from them. So I could only get maybe a little bit mm -hmm. of the contribution to my overall success, which was about taking action, doing things, let's say going to the gym, uh, grading papers uh, or uh, publishing some sort of YouTube video, for example. I'd really add to what the both of you have been saying about this whole aspect of motivation and just doing things in general, taking action. Yes. Right, and this and this kind of brought to brought to life one of the conversations I've had with a trainer this week or a mm. coach. And so this week for me was one of those weeks where there's just, you know, so much going going on at work and like other things that just getting myself to go to the gym, getting myself to go train was hard. But yes. thankfully I've done it regardless. Right? Okay. Good. And so this coach tells me this. He's like, when you are when you're motivated to do something, it's very easy to do it. Yes. Whether it's working, whether it's training, whether it's you know doing something tedious, but yet when you have that motivation in you to do it, it's easy, right? And and like we all we all love that feeling, sure. Like we love we love to be motivated to do something. Yeah. But then he said something else. He was like, but when you don't have the motivation, and when you're doing it, and when it's hard for you to do it, yet you still do it, that's when it truly counts. Yeah. Because, because you know, like people like us who incorporate these lifestyles into a routine and who do it on a daily basis, believe me, like we're not motivated to do it every day. No. Oh, yeah. We have periods, of course, we have periods of time where we're on fire and motivated to do things and we're getting stuff done, which is very good. And I wish we had that every single day. But, you know, reality is we don't. Yeah. I would also so say, days, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And so, and so on, on like the days we push through it and we still do it regardless of whether it's easy, whether it's hard, especially when it's hard and we choose to do it and we do it, we end up feeling more accomplished. And then that's when you realize the value and how much it really counts. Yeah. Why? Because we chose to do it when it was hard to do. Yeah, exactly. And that's, and that's the thing. Like we have to, we have to do it, you know, at the end of the day, like whether it's easy, whether it's hard at the end of the day, if there's a benefit from it. Absolutely. That's how, that's how I see it. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, I agree with that. So, yeah, I would say, yeah, I can, can relate uh, to what you have been talking about, Aziz. So, if I uh, train, right, so I normally train quite a bit. So, yeah, oftentimes it is at least uh, one training session of some sort uh, a day, maybe even seven days a week or about like six days a week, uh, I would say, uh, on average. And then maybe I can go to the gym one day, right? So, another day I will go for a run and so on and so on. And then those things, uh, simply because of the volume, uh, I will become uh, uh, kind of like sore in my body. So that's already kind of going to be the like major obstacle to uh, push through. So even if kind of like there is no any sort of like other huge obstacles to deal with, so this alone, kind of the soreness of the body can kind of like stop me from like waking up earlier in the morning and going for a training session. I could tell to myself, oh, I don't have the kind of, I have no an excuse, right? And then no amount of motivation uh, will be able to uh, help. So, but in this situation, so yeah, if I push through, then I can definitely do that. Uh, I just need to find a way to do that. How? 
uh, modify the training, like make it lighter or make some sort of like, have some sort of like completely different training session. Maybe you will not be doing like a Jiu Jitsu uh, practice uh, this morning, but instead you will just go for a walk and then do the yoga and then do some stretching and mobility. So that's going to be better than like doing nothing and at the same time it will be you know, kind of completely uh, doable. So you can definitely find the substitutes uh, to keep yourself going and the kind of like perpetuate this uh, cycle of uh, motivation via action. So yeah, we are at the 10 minute mark, by the way. Absolutely. Love, I love all of the points that we brought up, gentlemen. So uh, yeah, another one I wanted to kind of like bring up. So it's yeah, how kind of like these days. Um, so yeah, we uh, have a lot of like say Instagram watching, TikTok watching, right? So that's just it is what it is. Um, it was not the case maybe like in the 60s, uh, for example. Uh, but um, uh, now it is and uh, we need to kind of like deal with that, right? So it's just kind of the, uh, that's what the playing field is like. Another thing, so kind of that happens is that uh, the, like self-improvement books, right? So people can read a lot of them, so or can just uh, watch in addition to maybe or instead of watching the videos, uh, right, on uh, let's say Instagram to motivate themselves or they can watch YouTube videos right to also motivate themselves oh how to become more productive and stuff like that or maybe you can watch our channel <laughs> by the way hopefully we bring something useful into your life so and then kind of you'll be spending time on that but what happens is that uh, it's going to be like a twofold situation and then that's where I also found myself at some point is that uh, I was maybe reading or watching some sort of like motivational books and videos uh, like the uh, like the text and YouTube, right? And then I was not applying those pieces of information to the real life. And then this was kind of in vain, right? So I kind of like spend the time on watching and reading, but I was not using uh, the knowledge which I acquired. And then here I kind of like realized that it's important to translate those skills into real life. So, for example, you say, okay, you learn somewhere, well, I need to like, speak to maybe like one person on a daily basis, and then you go ahead and then practice actually that, at least maybe like for like a week or something. So, and then that's how you can actually uh, become better, not just kind of like being a uh, motivation junkie or something like that. And then also like you need to realize that by watching those kind of like YouTube videos and reading the books and then like not using actually uh, that uh, knowledge you just kind of like use the time on just uh, the process of uh, reading and viewing and actually not like following up on that and then you could have actually spent the time on doing the like uh, real work uh, in maybe like going to the gym or working on your project of some sort uh, studying working things like that I love that word you used motivation junkie yeah. And that, I think we all have to be aware of moving yeah. forward with this new year. Yes. Because I bet you 90% of any new year resolution or people that have set goals with themselves will seek like the motivation junkie mindset where it's just like, yes. oh, I'm motivated. Yeah. New year, new me. Let's do this. Oh, I'm going to crush these goals. Exactly. And then as soon as the motivation dies out and like the difficulty setting goes up yes it's just gonna be oh forget this i'm gonna go back to my old ways i'm gonna go back to what i've been doing before that's yeah, easier. yeah, yeah. there's a very Why high chance I keep stressing myself out and even going back to the self-help books self-help books are mental gratification because mm. i've given many of my favorite books, like which have personally changed my life. Yeah. Because I have implemented it and I've made yes. sure to keep track of these changes. But many people will read the self help book and then just go, like, oh, wow, this is great. Oh, this is uh, yes. super fantastic. Ah, wow, this is amazing. Yes. I can't wait to incorporate this in my life and then throw it out as soon as they're done with the book or not even finish the book. Yeah. And then point fingers and blame and say like my life is not changing nothing is happening exactly yeah. and Very that itself i will go into another rabbit hole on its own just to save time but it's well accountability is the main aspect 
Yeah. But to focus primarily on motivation, which is the topic. That, with anything that's being done, like you'll find these people hop from one topic or like one focus point, like let's say it's exercising. As soon as it gets difficult, motivation dies out, or go to something else. Nothing is ever done to completion. And that feeling of fulfillment comes from completion. Yes. So with this new year, with new objectives and plans, seek completion. Because when you finally feel like you've completed like an amazing, like a long goal that's been on your list for even a year, it's a different feeling that not, you know, 10 minutes from a motivational video can do or even a self-help book can provide. Yeah. Very true. So yeah, let's get those things completed, just like we complete uh, this episode. And we thank you for your attention, everybody. So please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, leave the comments uh, in the section below to share your thoughts and ideas. Uh, and uh, we will read everything and take this um, into account. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.